Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Wednesday, July 3 Recap Ava plots Sani's public nervous breakdown. General Hospital, EHO Spoilers Recap for Wednesday, July 3 Reveals that Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, caught Carly Spencer, Laura Wright. Wrapping up a phone call with Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy. So Carly came clean about the recording and how the FBI had used it to force Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, to work for them. Jocelyn realized Jason had protected Carly and agreed with Jason's view that if Carly turned herself in, then his sacrifice would have been for nothing. Carly argued that she could land in prison anyway, but Jocelyn thought her mom needed to fight to remain free for Donna Corinthos, Scarlet Spears' sake. Jocelyn also talked to Carly about Dex Heller, even Hofer, and how they were finally figuring things out on their own terms. At Deception, Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, argued that they had to stand with Blaze, Aka Allison, Allie Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, in the aftermath of Natalia Ramirez's, Eva Leroux, they good at comments, so they wouldn't be firing her as the face of deception. As Maxie, Lucy Co, Lynn Herring, Lois Cirillo, Rena Soffer, and Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, talked about doing damage control, an apologetic Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, showed up to explain that Adrian DeWitt, Dieterich Gray, had gone rogue. Nina also pointed out that Crimson was set to run a two-page spread that featured Blaze. The timing wasn't right for that to go out this week, so Nina wanted to know how to proceed. Maxie came up with the idea of a simple message that said, no one cancels love. After Maxie shared the font and color details, Nina insisted she'd handle the necessary updates. Next, Nina summoned Adrian and threatened to fire him if he didn't reveal who gave him the recording. Adrian quickly caved and revealed that it was Ava Jerome, Mora West. Lucy pushed Scott to stop representing Ava, so Nina and Maxie realized Ava was fighting Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bennard, for custody of Avery Corinthos, Ava and Grace Scarola. Nina tried to fire Adrian despite his cooperation in exposing Ava, but Maxi convinced her to keep Adrian around. Now Adrian would be forced to play by Nina's rules and print exactly what she wanted, so she liked Maxi's way of thinking. At home on Wednesday's GH episode, Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Mancy, urged Blaze to stop looking at disgusting comments online. Blaze knew she was viewed as a coward, but Christina argued that no one was owed details about her personal life. The real person to blame here was the one who leaked the recording, according to Christina. Sasha Gilmore Corbin, Sophia Matson, eventually showed up with some advice since she'd been through her fair share of scandals and knew all the drama would blow over in time. Nina arrived next, so she apologized for Adrian posting everything without her knowledge and revealed that Ava was the source of the leak. In Ava's suite at the Metro Court, she faced Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gran accusations, but she denied any guilt and claimed Nina was framing her with Adrian for revenge. Alexis hinted that she might subpoena Ava's phone records and let Ava know she had her law license back. Ava continued to deny responsibility, but she pointed out that it wasn't illegal to make a private recording like that in New York. Alexis argued that she'd be going after Ava anyway since Natalia wasn't a public figure and Ava's move was an act of malice. Ava thought she did everyone a favor by exposing Natalia as a bigot and said everyone should live their truth. Alexis alluded to Ava killing Connie Valconeri, Kelly Sullivan, but Ava once again denied any wrongdoing. After Alexis suggested Ava was all alone without Avery or anyone who cared about her, she messed with Ava by acting like she might recorded this conversation. Afterward, Scott paid Ava a visit and warned that her latest move wouldn't help the custody case. 
unless Sonny caused someone's grisly outcome on camera or had a nervous breakdown in public, Scott didn't have much hope for a win. Ava seemed intrigued over that public nervous breakdown part, so it looked like the wheels were turning. Meanwhile, Sonny complained to Natalia about the youth center fallout for Christina, so she was apologetic. After Sonny put most of the blame on Ava, Alexis showed up and had a tense interaction with Natalia. However, Natalia ultimately made herself scarce and left an upset voicemail for Blaze, hoping to talk. Once Alexis was alone with Sonny, she made it clear that she was going after Ava in court and that she'd settle for destroying Ava's reputation. That wasn't good enough for Sonny, who planned to make Ava's life no longer worth living. Sonny also warned that Diane would make sure Ava never saw Avery again. General Hospital spoilers say Sonny and Ava's conflict will take a terrible turn soon. The morning sun filtered through the trees in Port Charles, casting a golden hue on the bustling town. At the Corinthos Coffee Warehouse, Sonny Corinthos sat behind his desk, his mind preoccupied with the recent events that had turned his world upside down. Little did he know, Ava Jerome was already a few steps ahead, orchestrating a plan that would shake his very foundation. Ava stood in her penthouse, a devilish glint in her eyes as she paced the room. Her thoughts were fixated on Sonny, the man who had caused her so much pain. She was determined to make him suffer, to see him crumble before the very public he held so dear. The plan was meticulous, a web of deceit and manipulation designed to provoke a public nervous breakdown. Across town, Carly Corinthos sensed something was off. She had always been able to read Sonny like a book, and lately his behavior had been erratic. She decided to pay him a visit, hoping to offer some support. As she arrived at the warehouse, she found him staring out the window, lost in thought. Sonny, we need to talk, Carly said softly, her voice tinged with concern. Sonny turned to face her, his expression weary. I'm fine, Carly. Just dealing with some business issues. Carly didn't buy it for a second. This isn't just about business, and you know it. Something's been bothering you for weeks. Let me help. Sonny sighed, running a hand through his hair. It's Ava. She's up to something, I can feel it. But I can't figure out what. Meanwhile, Ava was putting the final touches on her plan. She had enlisted the help of a few unsavory characters, ensuring that her scheme would be executed flawlessly. The stage was set for the annual Poor Charles Fourth of July celebration, a perfect backdrop for her sinister plot. At the Metro Court, preparations were underway for the festivities. Guests began to arrive, mingling and enjoying the warm summer evening. Ava made her entrance, looking every bit the part of a sophisticated socialite. She exchanged pleasantries with the townsfolk, her eyes constantly scanning the room for her target. Sonny arrived with Carly by his side, his guard up. He couldn't shake the feeling of impending doom. As they made their way through the crowd, they were greeted by familiar faces, but Sonny's mind was elsewhere. He knew Ava was there, watching, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Ava's plan hinged on timing and precision. She had bribed one of the event staff to tamper with Sonny's drink, slipping a potent mix of drugs into his glass. The effects would be gradual but undeniable pushing Sonny to the edge of a very public breakdown.